Well, it's a supply day kind of thing. Actually, we have our checks happening. So, yeah, something's coming in because of that. We have a lot of visitors on our porch today. I just told JL, you better go outside. She wants to color, but it's a nice day out, and we don't waste those days inside. And there's a, the Who Says New House. There's the office down below. And there's a new house room. Really kind of a neat idea what the Hooses did. They had the guys go ahead when they were building their house and build a, just a little, little beach side type house. And that's where a guy's uh, it's rain and just fill up. And otherwise, it's just a, a meeting place up here. Anyways. Sorry, so close in. Oh, I'll have to check out the uh, playground a little bit here. And here we have our playground equipment. There's the uh, merry-go-round that we've got set up. Thanks to Jim. And there's a swing set that I have together. Huge tank of a thing. But uh, the idea was, hey, adults want to play in these things too. They banyan. Push it hard. Go oh, <laughs> hard. I push these kids up as high as they can go. And then uh, our first actual little piece of player on equipment was that uh, seesaw and uh, compared to the other things it just doesn't hold the excitement but you get enough kids on can't fit them all on there can't fit them on the swing set then they go to that <laughs> and uh, there's Cartag's house again uh, just set up the pool and we'll see if uh, the rain will fill that up sometime. Uh, where else do we go here? Uh, it's kind of interesting to show you. We built this fence around uh, to contain the Hoosa's new area. This is a ditch that we've got uh, going and goes right on down. Uh, whenever it rains, we get quite a torrent of, uh, of uh, little waterfalls and rivers throughout our territory. So. And if we don't manage it, then uh, our houses get flooded under and uh, the paths get washed away. So uh, it's kind of interesting to show you. A little closer up on the Hoosa's house underneath, uh, Jeff's set up quite the uh, woodworking shop with the table saw, something we haven't had here before. Drill press, same also. Uh, stack of lumber and uh, various tool shelves and a nice tool box set up and uh, as he goes he's adding a little bit more and more and just trying to feel out what uh, what he needs under here. Also interesting to note uh, the uh, Hoosa's new washing machine. It's uh, uh, actually an old washing machine and he replaced the, uh, the motor with an actual uh, DC motor out of a, a 1950-some Chevy and uh, has that running for their wash. And uh, so it's not quite an automatic washer, but it does the job and they kind of like it not being in the house. So, and then they just hang their laundry up outside, either underneath the house there or further out there, there's a, uh, a clothesline that Jeff set up. Furthering the tour, we have uh, around the Hoosa's house which incidentally is built on the uh, ground that our original tribal hut that we lived in was on. We have a little pig pen with one lonely pig who uh, 
was about three times smaller than this when they first got him, and they've been feeding him pretty much uh, table scraps, and he's just growing at a very quick pace. And uh, his name is Earth. And there's his uh, little house right there. Anyway, uh, his, the pig house is just, uh, or the pig pen is just within earshot of their main porch. Well, we'll uh, see if we can go inside. We'll ask permission first. Hi, I'm Shannon, and this is Duck Pusa, and this is our new house. Oh, you want me to give you If you room? would. Oh. <laughs> this is our living room. Normally our couches aren't so ugly, but we had to cover them. <laughs> and then we're just preparing for the shuttle coming in, getting rid of some stuff. New cabinets. Sorry, Jeff. My messy sewing room. And that is? Jeff's punching bag. Right. Oops, sorry. Genealogy charts on the wall. <laughs> Don't trip. <laughs> Another famous shot. Hello. <laughs> you can go through that way to the bedroom. All right, go right into their bedroom through the bathroom. Interesting closets made of wood and cloth for the sides. And I'm going to hear about my clothes on the bed later. I did not show the clothes on the bed. The go bed ahead is show on the so bed. They know what I'm talking about. All right, now. Jeff gives permission and instruction to show the clothes on the bed. <laughs> Write letters of complaint. <laughs> Or send a team out here to uh, clean it up. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, send hazmat. And then messy window seat. But a nice messy window seat. Yeah, not covered yet. Okay. And then I don't know if you got the kitchen. Not really. <clears throat> so, there's kitchen. <laughs> there's a kitchen adjacent to the freezer. Fridge and freezer next to each other. Cabinets and a regular accoutrements. <laughs> <laughs> After a long discussion about accoutrements, we move on to the porch. And how do you describe the uh, porch? It's a veranda. Porch a veranda. <laughs> uh, complete with dartboard and machetes in the wall. Shoes. Various projects and works, hammock, and uh, it's a wraparound porch of sorts, ending right there with the grinder and a rocking chair, and uh, a view of the pig down there, the office, our house, and way over there is the protagonist's house, and a view of it. Um, here. Okay. Give you guys a office update. See how things are coming along in the office. So, come on, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the door. Okay, here we go. Some things are gonna look fairly same as before. Uh, got our network up and going. There's my office in there. Uh, still a work in progress with uh, what are we gonna do with this main room? We had uh, bamboo in here. Decided to. Uh, take it out for walls and just uh, have bare walls and as we feel like it we'll take just spare uh, plywood and throw it up for the walls. Here's uh, Joey's office now and uh, check out Jeff's uh, beauty of an office. He's uh, currently using it for other things other than uh, pursuit of learning law because he has an office in his house and no kids to distract him. My office, got a bed in here because we had a, have it down in the uh, guest room for some guests with kids last week. 
anyway, just a map of Australia, Papua New Guinea, Mibu map in the area, uh, election map 2004, kind of fun, a uh, few things going on with uh, Papua New Guinea politics, and uh, my letter from George W. Bush to me, thanking me for my efforts during the 2004 election, a few Mibu things, including uh, an actual World War II Japanese rifle that uh, someone was using for a digging stick and uh, we'll be trading them now. My political cartoons and my messy, just the way I like it, desk uh, with my computer and uh, various things I use for learning the language and uh, my work library for the most part. Uh, got uh, two pictures of JL in here, one with Angie, one with JL, and then my only picture of Bear right now is on my desktop of my computer, so I see him just as much, but it would be nice to get some more pictures up. Okay, uh, we'll take a look at the guest room now. From the bathroom as we go in, not much change in here. Uh, yes, hello again. bedroom. Uh, what can I say? Oh, we now have a cool phone in here to call between the guest room and our house, Hoosas and Tartaglias, and uh, from those houses to their respective other counterparts, so it's really quite handy as the rains come on or something. We don't have to put on shoes and go knock on someone's door. We just push 1-2 or 1-3 or 1-1, call each other. Most of those run on DC, so they take very little power. Oh, another picture. Another picture. A cool little lamp. Okay. And uh, if you're not dizzy yet, nice uh, outdoor deal. All right. Got uh, some binoculars, so someone could stand on the porch and. Uh, if they had x-ray vision look through the wall of jungle that we have around the office Let's see Mibu. okay let's go back to the house see that little white head out there that's our son being uh, oogled after by uh, kids girls particularly oh Ndatna. <laughs> Now how? Uh, Come on. They say, his face looks like Chris, his face looks like Chris. Okay, going inside now. Our washing machine. Oh, hold on. And the, uh, the new bathroom. Angie, will you come here and uh, show off the new bathroom of sorts? After I close my Close your cabinets? Yeah. Okay. Although they are clean, I just organized them this last week. You rugs on the floor? Yes. This is the best carpet in the house. We all come in here and stand barefoot just to enjoy the feel on our feet. Laundry basket down on the floor. Yeah. New curtain. New, New bathroom shower toys. curtain. And bathroom toys. Yeah. Toilet's the same. And there's T. Oh, T. So long, game up and guy. And video camera box. Come on. Settlers of Catan we played last night. Oh, we're waiting for the helicopter to show up today. Our couch. And uh, Angie wants desk. to show off her new homeschool desk thanks to Walmart. put educational supplies and other things. The computer will eventually go in there. And a uh, nice place to put a bunch of decorations and the radio. Uh, office, not much to say about that in there. No, you don't so need to go in there. Won't bother me. Uh, barracks, barracks new little uh, toy box kind of thing. Uh, jail's room, mess and all. 
It's interesting to note we just set up our bunk beds in there with dressers underneath. And all this stuff all I've had the happens toys to decorate that Dale the has in here, Including oh, her favorite baby doll. Her other favorite baby doll. And her favoriteest other favorite baby doll. And that stuffed animal. And that stuffed animal. And that one. And three garbage bags of stuffed animals upstairs. And more up there. And so on. And there's baby bears. Bed. <clears throat> and Jill's other books among her many. And her closet with more toys inside. A spoiled little kid with more toys in her toy box as well. <laughs> and uh, there's Baby Barracks cooking toy. And uh, our view of Mibu from her living room and the rest of the family. Gorgeous. New pictures on our walls. And uh, I've been told that that is all we're going to see of, the, of our bedroom. Uh, though interesting to note, we have pictures on the, uh, the walls, and we're going to have some new dressers and then in, in that uh, living room bedroom, and then we will have. Uh, something we're allowed to show. In the meantime, since we have no dressers, it is what it is. Comfortable surroundings, very comfortable, especially considering where it is. <clears throat> we're thoroughly enjoying this ministry as it gets closer and closer to the point where we are sharing the gospel. Just this week we began translation. Uh, Joey did because he's completely finished with all of his language checks and uh, I still have two more to go one of which will be done today check three and then my final check for Lord willing in uh, June so with that out of the way I will be cleared to uh, also take part in translation which point Joey plans to work on lesson preparation and give me the bulk of the translation uh, load. Genesis chapter 2 began this week. And uh, still working out some bugs because we're limited on terminology for <clears throat> various words and uh, also just grappling with the actual meaning because uh, it's one thing just to read a, a passage in English and, and not be completely sure but when you're going to translate it's a much bigger deal. So uh, uh, we find ourselves having to study the Bible in a whole new light. Um, and that's beginning in earnest now. So appreciate your prayers. And uh, it's an exciting ministry. Well, we'll see what else uh, Angie wants us to, to show of. As, uh, I'll turn it off for the moment. This is our boy holding his own bottle. Can you believe it? Hey, little man. Yeah. He likes his apple juice. Don't ya? Here's our little man on the floor playing. He's got a bit of a cold today. He's not feeling real good, but he seems to be happy some of the time. Don't you, little man? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, he can push himself up pretty far. <laughs> yeah. Hi. He now has two front teeth on the bottom, but I don't know if they're up to on where you'll be able to see them just yet. Yeah. 
Life is tough at this age. You see everybody doing all kinds of fun stuff and you want to do it too, but you can't figure out how to get there. Won't be long. He just had a very trying diaper change. And now he's happy. Weird little kid. See in the video camera, huh? Maybe that's it. I'll have to give a shot of him here as a walker. Alright, go see what the girls are up to on the porch. Hey, Jay, let's see your face. <laughs> <laughs> Eating chocolate pie. Hey, banana. Or as Jill says, Bina. Hey, bear. Hey, little guy. Uh oh, you did drop it. It's been a bit miserable lately with tea. <clears throat> Maybe you can get a close up on this bottom tea thing. <clears throat> <laughs> Go ahead. <clears throat> See him? Oh, it's going to be a little out of focus. Daddy! What? Siki's eating the pie? Yeah. Okay, let's go see her. Siki is a dog. Mama, look. What? A dog named Siki. Looks like you were eating pie. <laughs> look, Siki eats all pie. Where is she? Siki is over there, Siki and see. 
she she ate the pie and then went home? Yeah. Oh. Well, there's some some pie left. What are you guys gonna do with this pie? Let's eat it a little bit. Who's gonna eat it? Tiki. Oh, Siki, but she's gone. Let's look, my friend, my friend, the Tiki, 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 and the cat. I don't talk. So we will eat them. Oh. oh. Your friend said Tiki, 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 and then Tiki came and ate the pie? Yeah. But there's still more pie left. Yeah. Tiki is a bad dog. <laughs> okay, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's go play on the swings, huh? No more. Shiloh's gone. Shiloh's gone? Yeah. Okay, uh, you go on the swing. Okay. Oh, oh! Someone's underneath the house. <laughs> yeah. What, what is this for? It was for hanging uh, pipe. But we used it all up, almost all of it. What do we do with it? Oh, it's nothing really now. Can you spray it on it? It'll break, but I don't care. Like this. Okay. But you guys have a whole big swing set over there. I know. But there's mud under it. <laughs> oh. Daddy, look, I'm not there. It's higher up. And the good big stick. Yep, yeah, I can hang that up now. You want us to help? Sure, I don't yeah, care if you want to hang it up. That sounds good. That one might be a bit short. We'll just hang on one. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Slalo! <laughs> oh, it's on. Oh, here's one. <laughs> this will be tiny. This one won't be as. Okay guys, I want uh, someone to go on the swings and someone else to push them. Can I have this please? Mm, no, you can make a mess with it. I don't know. Might as well leave that in the house. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, just kind of want to see you guys playing, having fun. Now on the merry-go-round. Okay, you guys can go to the merry-go-round if you want. Merry-go-round. <laughs> merry-go-round. Well, so, I like, let's see, this one's number four. So I went number six. Well, I went number six. Yeah. I went number six. I went number one. Okay, I'll push. Come on, Dia. Don't clap yourself in the back. The uh, bamboo fell off the other day, so uh, we've got some guys working on some actual wood planks to put down.
the bamboo is just a short-term measure. Shorter than we thought. <coughs> just JL? No one else on there? Say that. Go quit, ma. Ja, papoot. Shayla, hold on. Sailor wants to get on too. Okay. I'm three, Jail. Jail's four. All right. You gonna go jail? Huh? You gonna go get on the teeter totter? You want to go on the merry-go-round? Pickle as they are. <laughs> what? You guys having fun? Yeah! That's constant. Hey, can you push us now? Yeah. Yeah, can you push us? Uh, hold on. Faster. Here we go. Let's go to McDonald's. Okay, in New York. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we passed it. Oh no, we gotta go backwards now. Okay. We gotta go the other way now. Okay, we're going the other way for Penn. No, we have to stop it and go the other way. Pizza hot dog. Sunday afternoon or morning right now, 9.30, and it's uh, time for me to go to the Hoose's house, over there, as uh, we're having a, uh, a culture session meeting with our uh, Czech consultant, who is uh, Andrew Murray from England, so uh, I'll uh, head over there and see what we can catch for a sort of like a group of people and think that anybody here is trainable and that's just that's not how it works certain people Jeff, have kind of an aptitude Andrew or whatever and for a tendency to be doing them as they've been waiting for like that or